how fat can a cat be? What do dogs that have lost a record amount of weight look like? Where does the fattest bear in the world live? And why tourists should not feed wild animals? All the answers are in this episode. Today, I'll show you the fattest animals in the world. Let's go. Patches. Many people adore fat cats, and it's no wonder. Chubby fur balls are especially cute and funny. They're pleasant to cuddle with, and they constantly cause a smile. But you should know the limits and never overfeed cats, as it happened with Patches. Recently, he's been called the fattest cat in the world. This six-year-old furball weighs 40.3 pounds, more than the average five-year-old child, and about four times more than ordinary cats. Patches was discovered after his former owner brought him to the shelter. He could no longer care for him. At the shelter, the cat was examined and found to be quite healthy. Medical tests showed this. What's interesting is that although Patches is incredibly fat, he's very picky about what he eats. He doesn't eat everything. Apparently, the weight problem was exclusively in the former owner of the giant cat who spoiled him a lot. But that's now a thing of the past. Patches was promptly put on a strict diet to bring his health back in order a little. The shelter also set a condition. The new owner must help the cat reach a safe and healthy weight. Fat Vincent Fat dogs are rarer than chubby cats. Well, at least it seems so to me personally. However, even among these four-legged man's best friends, there are overweight individuals. A great example is Fat Vincent. A few years ago, this Dachshund made a real sensation on the internet. People couldn't believe it when they saw him and found out how much he weighed. The Dachshund weighed almost 40 pounds. Vincent could hardly move around. His back was sagging under the weight. His cholesterol was off the charts. And because of his huge size and squat body, he sometimes didn't realize whether he was standing or lying down. The dog was at risk for everything, from arthritis and diabetes to cancer and other horrors. Fortunately, he was taken care of in time. Like Patches, the dog ended up in a shelter where the staff began training him and put him on a diet. First, it was just a simple walk, which was not easy for Vincent. But as time went on, the dog was able to get more and more active and soon changed beyond recognition. Now he's a healthy and fit Dachshund, and the dog is no longer called Fat. His name has been changed to Skinny Vinny. Obi. 40 pounds is an incredible amount of weight for a dog, let alone a breed like a Dachshund. But Vinny's story is not the limit. A Dachshund named Obi was much fatter. At his peak, he weighed 73 pounds. This is about twice as much as even the heaviest dogs of this breed. In order not to injure the huge belly hanging down on the ground, the dog had to wear a special protective harness. Often, in such cases, the fault lies with the animal's organism, congenital features and anomalies, specific metabolism and so on. But in Obi's case, we should blame only his former owners. They never denied the dash into anything, feeding him with anything, and because of their old age and poor health, they couldn't play active games with him. In the end, Obi got fat, but it didn't come to a bad result. The dog ended up at the veterinary clinic. Surgeons got him a tummy tuck and performed surgery to remove excess skin. Obi was on a strict diet and lost excess weight through exercise. In the end, he lost over 44 pounds and was transformed. Godzilla. By that name, we all know the creepy and huge mutant monster. It was very large and heavy, just like its namesake. Godzilla is this monkey that was found in Thailand a few years ago. The macaque is about twice the size of his normal relatives. In the footage you see, it weighs about 44 pounds. The primate was constantly being fed by tourists as well as Godzilla's owners. Few people thought that this is bad for the macaque's health. In addition, Godzilla's owner said that the monkey does not complain about his health and even trains every day, but it still wasn't normal. After hearing about the obese monkey, the market was visited by concerned representatives of the Center for Wildlife Protection and took the primate away. The animal was sent to a special camp for overweight people where he was put on a strict diet. Also, they made him love doing sports to get in shape. What's interesting is that Godzilla wasn't the only animal that visited this camp. Another one was Uncle Fatty. This is another macaque and he's also from Thailand. A few years ago, he lived in one of the markets in Bangkok where he did only one thing. He ate everything. The macaque got food on its own, begged for it from tourists, and also ate some leftovers. 
In addition to this, the chubby one moved very little and eventually gained 60 pounds. This was incredibly dangerous, so the primate was sent to a weight loss camp and put on a special diet. For a while, Uncle Fatty ate green vegetables, low sugar fruit, and drank water. He managed to lose 13 pounds and was returned to the wild, but there Uncle Fatty returned to his old habits and started begging for food from tourists again. Unfortunately, this eventually killed him. 747. Katmai National Park and Preserve in Alaska holds an unusual competition every fall. Among several thousand local brown bears, they choose the fattest one. This is not some kind of mockery or prank on animals. The competition is held for purely scientific purposes. People are interested to see which of the bears is better prepared for winter, because the fatter the bear is, the more efficient and easier its hibernation will be. Last year, like several years ago, 747 the bear won. This number was given to him for a reason. The bear is compared to a Boeing 747 because he is also huge. Since 747 is a wild bear, it's unrealistic to weigh him with usual scales, but apparently his weight exceeds 1,400 pounds. He is the fattest brown bear on the planet. Although it's not the fact that this is the case right now, 747 becomes the leader in the fall, but after hibernation, he loses a lot of weight like the rest of the brown bears so he looks slimmer in the summer. Then this bear gains weight in record time for the fall, getting the maximum amount of fat. It's possible that this year too, 747 will win, or rather defend the title of the world's chubbiest bear before he goes to sleep again. Annabelle. As a rule, pigs are not characterized by slimness. They can all be described as heavy and somewhat chubby. But then there are pigs like Annabelle, just look at how fat and clumsy she is. Some people may find this footage funny, but there's not much funny about it. Personally, it's kind of creepy to me. At one time, Annabelle was the fattest pig on the planet. The situation was so bad that she could barely even see anything because of the fat. She was also almost unable to stand or walk. She was rescued from a farm whose owners could no longer care for her. Kate and Andrew, Annabelle's rescuers, initially fed the pig from a syringe or from their hands because she had trouble getting her chin into the bowl. Kate and Andrew put Annabelle on a diet and began to wait. The pig couldn't lose weight too quickly, it would be fraught with complications. But everything worked out, and soon, after a few weeks, Annabelle was feeling much better. She started to move around and became more active and happier. It's amazing that she was able to survive and recover from her past condition at all, because at her peak, Annabelle exceeded the normal weight by 176 pounds. She was on the verge of death. Bandit. Chubby raccoons. Which animal could compete with them in terms of cuteness? When a raccoon is a little chubby, it looks as cute as possible, especially if that raccoon is a pet. But it's one thing when it's a little overweight, and it's quite another thing when the situation is as follows. Bandit is probably the main record holder of today's episode, whereas previous fat animals were two, three, or even four times bigger than their normal congeners, he's five times bigger than them. Or maybe I'm even underestimating it a bit. This huge creature was at one time recognized as the world's fattest raccoon. At its peak, he weighed in at 75 pounds. Just so you understand, some raccoons weigh as little as 7 to 9 pounds. Bandit's abnormal weight was due to improper diet. No matter how hard his owner tried to feed him with quality food, nothing helped. Bandit behaved in accordance with his name and, as befits a criminal, regularly organized thefts. The raccoon penetrated into the kitchen and often stole junk food. Unfortunately, this caused health problems and the raccoon was gone. That's all guys. Which fat animal impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.